filling in the beef and lamb facial eczema study submission form. The forms are pretty small, so try and write small or delegate the job to someone in your family who's good at writing neatly with small numbers and letters. Um, the date the sample was collected is pretty straightforward. Um, your vet clinic should be the one that you signed up. When you signed up for the study, the vet clinic that you nominated in that. And if you have a regular veterinarian who's your normal vet, put their name underneath in the veterinarian section. Don't worry about the vet reference number. That's lab admin. So is lab number. So don't worry about those. But please, if you could put both your name and your farm name, and your address. Um, it's not unusual for there to be double ups of names, particularly if you just put your initials and your last name, and sometimes we get double ups of farm names as well. So if we could have all those details, please, that stops any confusion. Thank you. Um, our animal details along here. Um, ovine is ticked for you already. Breed, mine are composite. Um, put whatever breed your sheep are in there. There's not much room. But right small. Um, age of sheep or stock class, minor hoggets. The age of the pasture, that's just information for the researchers about uh, what sort of sward has been sampled. So if it's a long term hill country pasture, um, just perennial or 10 years plus is fine for that. Um, if it's a shorter rotation grass, put um, the years that it's been in and maybe some detail about uh, what that sward was. Um, irrigation yes or no height of pasture is the height of the average height of the sward when you sampled it or you may want to use your beef and lamb sward stick and express that as kilos of dry matter per hectare aspect is the main direction that the paddock is facing in mine's facing west um, GPS location those are two quite long numbers and I struggled to fit them in here so I just wrote my paddock GPS details up here and we'll show you how to do that in another video Altitude of my paddock was 450 metres and had we seen any signs of facial eczema since the last sample, it's October so I've ticked no, but if you have seen symptoms of facial eczema, either clinical where you've got the sunburn, the swollen ears, the seeking shade, those um, classic signs that you associate with the disease, tick clinical. Subclinical things might be like a tail end of use with, you know, scabby lesions that you are pretty sure are facial eczema, or it might be more dry use at scanning, those sorts of underlying things. Um, so if you tick either of those, please put some details about that. Um, I just popped some details down here about my hoggets. They just um, finished up a, t a kale crop at the end of September. So I just popped that there because that will affect their spore counts today. Um, but any comments around um, the feed type or any disease that you've seen or anything else you want to mention, just pop down here. That would be lovely. Thank you very much. Hope that's all clear as mud and good luck with your sampling.